Hi, today we're going to load software on an SR4, not only on the microprocessor, but also on the HMI. Connect to the unit using this cable. Plug one end into your computer and the other end into J11 on the SR4. So you can see the first thing here is that flash load is not an option that you see here. Okay, we need to bring up the tools menu. So we're going to do a, a control shift T. <laughs> you know, there it goes. All right. Uh, and there's the flash load. So I'm going to click on flash load. And this is a single temp controller that we're going to flash first. And we're going to go to the folder where I have my software. Unit software, and then we're going to do BA50. And there's the, the software build that we need, and we're going to go ahead and click Open. Okay, and here WinTrack is doing its thing. Okay, and yes, we want to flash load that. And you can see the progress on that. Okay, I'm going to leave this run so that you can see the true amount of time that this takes so that you can know what to expect. I pulled the high pressure cutout on this. You'll notice that it's flashing with a shutdown alarm. I pulled the high pressure cutout because with the last version of software on it, it wanted to start. So I wanted to keep it from starting, so that's what I did. That was what I knew would work for sure the first time. Okay, so it says flash load completed successfully. Now we're going to flash load the HMI as well. Okay, and we're just going to go back to where that is. And that was 7A50 that we wanted to flash load on that. And there we go. Now using the flash drive with SR4, flash loading the HMI took a long time, but we'll see what it does like this. If you look at the HMI right now, it has a screen just like before when we were flash loading with the, the thumb drive. I may not leave all of this video in. This takes quite a while, but I'm going to record it and we'll see how much we leave in. Just know that this takes a while. Another important thing to remember is, is that if you're upgrading the software that's on the unit, you want to flash load the controller and then the HMI, like I did here. But if you're going to put, uh, if you're going to back flash or if you're going to put older software back on the unit than what's on it currently, um, then you want to do the HMI first and then the controller. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I don't know how much time is left on this download, but when we did it with a flash drive, it took almost this long. So I believe we're getting towards the end. And what it did last time with the flash drive plugged in was that it just went into what looked like a boot sequence. And it was done 
and then we're going to go in and verify that we have BA50 and 7A50, I believe it was, uh, flash loaded onto our unit. And I believe we're almost done. Okay, there it looks like it's rebooting and it's it finished. You can see it's completing the flash load on the screen. And as soon as we get this to come up, we're going to go ahead and log on to it and go in and verify that we have our new versions of software loaded. All right, you'll remember that I had pulled the fuse for the high discharge pressure, so that's gonna that's still there. Okay, but we're gonna exit and we're gonna go verify. Go to menu. Okay. Down to software revision. And there you can see 7A50 for the for the HMI. And the controller has BA50. So we have successfully loaded that software. Thank you very much.